Hi everyone. So I wanted to read The Little Cloud. It's a really good book by Eric Carl. And so we'll see what happens to The Little Cloud in our book today. I'm going to take off the cover because it better. All right, here we go. The clouds drifted slowly across the sky. Little cloud trailed behind. It kind of looks like he has a face on him, huh? The clouds pushed upward and away. Little cloud pushed downward and touched the tops of the houses and trees. So these clouds are upward and the little cloud is downward. There he is touching the trees and the houses. The clouds moved out of sight. Little cloud changed into a giant cloud. Oh, look at him now. Little cloud changed into a sheep. Sheep and clouds sometimes look alike. Oh, look at what he turned into. Little Cloud changed into an airplane. Little Cloud often saw airplanes flying through the clouds. I wonder what he's going to turn into next. Oh, ooh, look at that. Little Cloud changed into a shark. Little Cloud once saw a shark through the waves of the ocean. Little Cloud changed into a rabbit. Little Cloud loved to watch rabbits dash across the meadows. Now what is he? Then Little Cloud changed into a hat because... <gasps> Little Cloud changed into a clown and needed a hat. Look at that. The other clouds drifted back. They huddled close together. Little cloud, little cloud, they called, come back. Little cloud drifted towards the cloud. Look what's going to happen. I wonder what's going to happen. <gasps> then all the clouds changed into one big cloud and rained. Oh my goodness. Red Rover, Red Rover, my book is now over. Okay. That was a good book. Little Cloud turned into so many different things. So now what you can do, parents and students, if you want, you can provide maybe blue material or, or like blue paper or provide white paper, whatever you want to use or whatever you have at home, and provide white material. So you can do white paint, you can do cotton, you can do... If you have white tissue paper, um, anything white. I mean, it could even be white buttons. It could be um, anything white that you can use and allow your child to um, just kind of explore their imagination and allow your child to make their own cloud. So whether they want to, whatever they want to make, they can make a house, uh, um, a house out of their white material and they can say, you know, that that'll be their, what their cloud turned into. And so just put it on the table and allow them to explore their imagination. Um, remember, it's their art. And a lot of times parents want to say, well, make this or um, I want I want it to look this way. But 
um, really preschoolers love using their imagination. And so if you provide materials, they're going to do whatever they want to do. They might make a robot out of their white material. They might, whatever they make, um, it's always fascinating to see what's going on in their little minds. And uh, that's why I love being, being a preschool teacher because I get to see that. And 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 then they get to tell me about their, their um, creation or their artwork. Um, and then they get to display it and be, you know, um, they get to be happy about what they've displayed um, and it makes them more confident. They get to say, that's mine. That's my creation. Um, so anyway, so that's that's something I, that I would do. Um, another thing I would do is just kind of go lay out. Um, I remember one year in my class, we um, put like um, a big tarp outside, um, those big like uh, circle ones, um, like the parachute kind. And we laid outside and I had my students, we just looked up at the clouds and we said, what, can, what kind of clouds do you see? Do you see any that look like something? And especially right now that the, I like today, the clouds are out, it's sunny and um, you, can, you can see um, clouds maybe in different shapes. So hopefully you guys had fun with that book and hopefully you have fun um, recalling the book and talking about it while you're looking at the clouds or allowing your child to make their own cloud, um, their own art. And so we'll talk to you soon and see you soon. Bye.